I'm Julie Fuster. I trade under Innerfin Ceramics. I make a mixture of sculptural pieces and beautiful things for the table. When I was 50, I ran away from home for six months. I went to live in Finland on an Erasmus exchange. There was one day when I was trying to learn to throw and I would just pause and look out the window and there were great big fluffy flakes of snow drifting down. And I remember thinking, I bloody love this. I just knew that whilst I had a huge amount to learn, this was probably what I'd wanted to pursue for a very long time, but I took a circuitous route to it, and to ignore that would have been squashing down a really vital and important part of me, and I wasn't willing to do that anymore. I've been creative all my life, but I never really settled with anything that I thought met my own exacting standards. I used to be an engineer, and so I have quite logical, analytical mind that likes things to be precise. But in Finland, they taught me to slip cast. And my first lesson was engineering drawing in Finnish. And I could do it and it's just, oh, hello, here's my precise engineer and my artist going, oh, we can work on this together. That tension between those opposite sides of my personality suddenly found something where they went, yes. Slip casting enables me to make a simple, precise, repeatable, I'm going to say perfect, but they never are, perfect form. And then my artist gets to do what it wants with it, and both sides of my personality are happy. My original sculptural forms are built around beach pebbles because I go to the beach, clear my mind, get mental space. All of my work is simple forms, but I want it to feel wonderful in the hand when it's being picked up. In my most recent smoke firing, I'd been making a rhubarb crumble, so I pulled off all the stringy bits from the rhubarb because I'd heard that they were quite good, wrapped one of the pieces up in that, and it made the most remarkable lines. We are connected with fire from deep in our history as humans. The dancing flames just is a pure joy to me. I love a flame and very occasionally I get some of that echoed on the side of the smoke fired parts and that fleeting moment is captured. For me, fire is a source of comfort. It's a source of being able to step back and lose yourself. It's heat, it's cosy. It makes the most remarkable patterns on parts, really it does. I love my engineer that wants the thing to be perfect, but I also want that freedom. It's that tension between the engineer and the artist rebel. I want that freedom to capture those fleeting moments. And that's generally what my mark making is about. What I'm after is an interplay between the light and the dark that is almost ephemeral around its edges that you have to look deeply into to see what's there. I would love for people to be able to just lose themselves in looking at it. They're also beautiful things to put in your home. You may never touch them, but most people reach out with their hands and want to touch my work when they see it. We need time out from the busyness and the pressures of the world. If you can just walk past one of my pieces, stop. It might just be a 10 second pause, but you can go, oh, I've never noticed that about that before. My work's done.